Fusion 360. Uh, and the Blade Fusion 360 comes with a telemetry unit. Ooh, cool. So well, what's interesting is that it comes with a telemetry unit. But you can see that uh, empty port in there on the left side. That's for the battery sensor. So, I mean, I would think anyone who's interested in telemetry is mostly going to be looking for battery sensor. So, um, if you want to do the battery sensor, then you have to buy this lead separately, uh, which they call a sensor, but really it seems to me just to be a plug with two wires on it. And those two wires tap to the battery. And so, uh, if you buy the Fusion 360, it comes with the telemetry unit but you have to buy uh, this wire separately, SPMA 9570. Uh, you plug it into that left port that we just showed you there. Uh, we'll run it down along here. Uh, and then the ideal way to do this, you know, ideally and, and most clean, you know, best would be to remove the connector and to uh, solder on the positive and the negative along with these wires to this lead. Okay, so this is an East uh, This is a IC3 so this is the new connector the IC3. I'm not using the spectrum smart batteries um, And I have a bunch of battery what's nice about the IC3 is that it's compatible with the EC3 so uh, I don't have the extension on here. I'm just using the shorter plug here. And what I'm going to do is the same thing that I did over here on my Blade 500. So obviously uh, the 500 did not come with telemetry. So what I did there is what you see here. Basically I just took a razor blade. Uh, I nicked in a little bit on the wire uh, on both uh, on one lead at a time took the positive up here uh, I stripped away about an inch and a half wrapped it around the little section that I had nicked away and then I just dropped some solder on there to really make a good connection and then I wrapped a little black tape around it just so that there wasn't any issues with uh, you know any any kind of problem I probably could have done this a little slicker if I had done some shrink tubing up here and then slid it down after uh, maybe I'll try that this time. Uh, so, yeah, I probably will try that this time. Actually, this time, these leads on this one are sh probably too short for that. I don't think I'm going to be able to get shrink tape and slide it down. So, I probably could have done a better job on this one. But uh, ultimately, in the end, if you've seen my videos with this one running, I really like having the battery feedback. Uh, and I have used it because I've got my DX9 set up to give me... Uh, the information every 30 seconds on the battery voltage and I really like it so I've been avoiding putting it on this one because I use solder and uh, just I'm not a great solderer uh, I kind of avoid soldering but the day has come uh, my 180 fusion has lost its head uh, the main gear I'm replacing so uh, that should be in tomorrow or the next day so I'm taking this uh, my son's going to fly his drone and do some video, hopefully flying, so uh, I'm going to put this telemetry unit in today. I'm not going to wait anymore. So I'm going to do that stuff, and then we'll come back, and I'll show you what I did. All right. All right, welcome back. So I had a little hiccup. Um, this aircraft telemetry flight pack sensor, SPMA 9570, um, this is actually for a three-prong input, and if we take a look, uh, down in here on the telemetry unit uh, This is actually a two prong, okay, so this Connector would not connect now I happen to have some other two prong connectors and those two prong connectors would not work either so I had two choices here order the correct two point in adapter what I chose to do is take my trusty razor blade and slice off the right section of the connector. Which, uh, so now instead of having a rib in there on the right side, it's just cut off flat. But it still has the rib on the left side. Now you may have noticed that I'm wearing the headlight, which is kind of weird sitting here at my kitchen table, my dining room table. 
but um, it's actually pretty handy when you're working with the helicopter, getting up into spaces like this and, and taking a look at things. Uh, the headlight is a great tool for uh, working on the helicopter. So anyways, I took the razor blade, I sliced off the connector, and I pushed it in there. Okay, so now that it's in, I really don't want to pull it out. But because this was not meant to be set up like this, I wanted to test it first. So instead of running it through the helicopter, splicing it into the leads, what I did was I just zip tied it here onto my battery, stuck it on my terminals. Now I got my DX9 here, and I've got it switched to my uh, Fusion 360. So what we're gonna do is plug this guy in, let it power up, and uh, we're gonna see if we can connect now via this uh, short term little just test arrangement that's set up we're gonna see if we can go into these settings now here's how this works you want to start from your start from your main menu and scroll down to telemetry so now that we're down to telemetry you want to go to auto config and then you want to hit yes it's gonna say configuring and it's gonna go through and it's gonna scan all this all of the items that are hooked up now you, what you want to do is you want to go to channel one and you want to find what we're looking for, which is flight pack volts. There we go, volts. So then it's going to take us to the next screen uh, and these are the options. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll down here and we wanna make this set up for a 6S. Okay, that's gonna automatically change those things. Now you can set up alarms and you can change these voltages, but for now we're just gonna get this thing running. Status report, okay? So I like this to run. So it's active, it's telling us the voltage. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at 30 seconds. Okay, so there it is. Now it's at 30 seconds. Now it's going to give us that every 30 seconds. Now I can also go down here to warning and I can add, uh, I can go in here to warnings and I can add a warning announcement. I can add other stuff up here. For now, I'm just going to do the 30 seconds. Okay, it's telling me the battery voltage every three seconds. And again, this is the flyby telemetry unit that comes with the 360. You just need to hook this wire up. So now that I know that it works, I'm gonna route it through properly and tap it into my positive and my negative, and I'll have my telemetry inputs on my DX9 when I'm flying my 360. All right, we'll see you later. All right, so just wanted to shoot a quick uh, final product here with uh, this telemetry unit. So this cord that I ordered was the wrong cord. It had three ports instead of two. Um, you can kind of make it out when you look down in there. I took a razor blade and just cut off because it was just that third, that extra port on the right, so you see the space in there? That third port on the right side was empty anyways. So I just hacked it off with a razor blade and uh, so now on the left, you can't see there's a ridge in there. So the left side slid in just like normal, but the right side is just hacked off. That's why you got that little space. And after I pushed it in, I really didn't want to remove it. But uh, I ran it around, hit it behind uh, the speed control, speed control uh, line here. Uh, comes around to the front. Okay, and then what I did was you can see it there snaking around. I just zip tied it back at the base of the speed control power wires uh, and then ran it up, spliced it. I just cut out like a little spot on each side of the main lead and I wrapped it around and dropped a bit of solder on it and then I wrapped these leads, uh, wrapped this uh, tape around it to uh, insulate it. So now it, uh, it'll plug in, it'll give me the telemetry uh, the way we set it up and it's all good to go. That's the 360 
and how to get it going with telemetry.